A Call 7 investigation tonight, cashing in on used cars by making miles disappear. And some sellers are so good at it, you won't know you've been had until they are long gone. Call 7 investigator Kelly Raybon digging into odometer fraud. So, Kelly, how big of a problem is this? And more than a million cars on the road are suspected to have rolled back odometers. And we found it's happening right here in Colorado. Did you sell this car? I do not. You did not sell this car? No. There's a lot Joe Robinson can't remember. Wait, so you did sell this car? Yes. Like how long he had this 2003 Honda CRV? How many days later did you sell it? Three weeks, two weeks. How about a day? No, not a day. And then it was a day? So it was one day between the time you bought it and the time you sold it? Yes, I'd say 16 hours. Wait, let's back up. Here we go. This is Bill McKinney. Well, I kind of freaked out. He found that same car on Craigslist. The miles were low and the price was right, so he says he bought it from Joe Robinson. On the ride home, the odometer jumped from 77,000 miles to 177,000. I thought, oh no, I've been ripped off. Bill filed a report with Lakewood Police and kept investigating on his own. According to this receipt... And that's your handwriting, your signature? Yes. Joe bought the car for $1,000. It had 230,000 miles. But one day later, when he sold the car to Bill for $6,000, that same odometer read 77,000 miles. Called the guy immediately, didn't answer my call. I texted him, told him, I don't want this car. It's had odometer fraud. The Call 7 investigators found odometer fraud is more common than you'd think. Colorado is in the top 10 for percentage of rollbacks in the country. I'm surprised the miles are that low on this. Yeah. We found a potential rollback at a used car dealership, too. At Century Auto in Lakewood, this 1996 Audi A6 appeared to have low miles. And it has low miles, has 145. We checked. Records show the car's odometer may have been rolled back years ago by a previous owner. It had 210,000 miles in 2005, then later, only 84,000. I'm Kelly Raybon with 7 News. Okay. So we went back to the dealership. Are you selling cars with rolled back odometers? No, absolutely not. He refused to tell us if they knew it was a rollback or if it was disclosed to the buyer as required by law. Why won't you talk to us? I can go sit in the parking lot at the shopping center and do it before you come over to look at the car. Lakewood Police Detective Case Bile says technology makes it easy for criminals to cash in on used cars. It's become somewhat easier because they don't have to go through the process of taking items apart. So you just think that this is a big misunderstanding? Yeah. And you never rolled back an odometer? Did not touch the odometer. He got over on me and that shouldn't have happened. Lakewood police have had Bill McKinney's case for three months. And while the detective says it's a pretty solid case, charges haven't been filed. Now, the best way to find out if you have a rolled back odometer, check the vehicle identification number. Companies like Carfax compile title history, service records, and accident information flagging you on potential rollbacks. I'm Call 7 investigator Kelly Raybon.